Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you five features of Google Jamboard that you should know how to use. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. So the first one is version history. And for this example, I'm going to show you one of the Jamboards that I recently used with one of my own classes. To get to the version history, go up here in the upper right hand corner to more actions. And from there, you can see version history. And we can see all of the changes that have been made here. We can go to all these different timestamped versions. In fact, I can go back to this one here. And we can say, well, I want to use that version. And if I want to, I can just restore that version and go back to that one. Or I can jump back up here and look at my current version. Now, of course, from here, I can also name the version and say, when I call this one final diagram. And now I have that named version. You can also see up here, that I can make a copy of that. And that's going to make a copy of that diagram right into my Google Drive. And now I have a copy of that full diagram, final diagram, and all the components within that diagram as well. So the second thing you should know how to do is duplicating objects. So I use this one quite a bit. I will often include something like, instead of a circle, a little square to represent things like servers or switches in my networking class. And I want to just duplicate them a bunch of times. So to do that, just hover over the object and then we'll see that little three dot menu and we can duplicate them. And we'll see they automatically stagger themselves there so they're not covered. And we can then drag them around the screen as we see fit. So that's a quick, easy way to create a whole bunch of objects on your screen. Next, we'll look at how to save your Jamboard for use outside of Jamboard itself. And the easy way to do that so again, go up to the More Actions menu, and you can save that frame as an image. So I'll save that, and now I have that as a PNG file right on my computer. I can also save that as a PDF. And so now I have that as a PDF saved right on my computer. Next, number four, let's look at how to use custom backgrounds in Jamboard. To do that, I'm gonna add another frame to my Jamboard here. And let's set a background. We can use one of the default options here, or I can use the image tool. I can pull from my Google Drive, do an image search. I can even turn on my camera and take a picture if I wanted to. But in this case, I'm going to upload a photograph and I have some photographs here. Let's say I want to use this photograph of the Cape Elizabeth Lighthouse. And that's now my background. But you'll see that's the background for just that frame. It's not the background for the previous frame. And likewise, if I create a new frame, I have a different background here. And so I can mix it up and say, I want to have a different background I'm going to upload a different image. And maybe I want to have a background that includes a picture of Dakota Thunder in Jamestown, North Dakota. And now that's my background for that frame. Now, let's say I really like my backgrounds and I really like the arrangement of my little boxes and I want my students to have exact copies of this Jamboard. Well, there's two ways that I can do this to distribute this as a template for my students. The first way, I can go to the upper right corner, hit the share button, and change this from restricted to change it to anybody with the link can be a viewer. 
And then I can give them that link and they can then take that link and make a copy into their own Google Drives. So we can do that. Can also, from that same menu, let's say I wanna invite Mason, I can invite Mason to be an editor or a viewer. And now if he's a viewer, he can then make a copy for himself to save in his Google Drive. But if you're a Google Classroom user, there's an even easier way to do that. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So here's my Google Classroom. I'm gonna go into Classwork. I'm going to create a new assignment for my students. And we're gonna call it five Jamboard features. Add in whatever instructions I want. Sample directions. Click the Add button. Go to my Google Drive. And we're going to select my five Jamboard features. There it is. Let's insert that and say, make a copy for each student. Then I assign that to them. They all have a copy now in their Google Drives and they can work on that Jamboard however they like. So that's five features of Jamboard that you should know how to use. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or check out practicaledtech.com.